Hey there guys, Ranger F1 here and welcome back to yet another video on the channel. As you've probably guessed by the title, I'm going to be doing my Hungarian Grand Prix preview video. As I'm recording this video before quali, I don't know any grid orders or anything like that. So I'm just basing my thoughts on the Friday practice and what I've seen before and basically who's gone well before. So high downforce track, unlike Austria, that had three long straights make it the majority of the track. I still believe Mercedes will do well even if the track is completely different in terms of downforce. Lewis obviously topped the timing charts in FB1, no real surprise there. But Seb in a wet FP2 was a huge surprise in my opinion. Big statement of intent there from Seb, who is obviously in the hunt for a seat in 2021 after he'd been dumped from Ferrari. I'll leave all my thoughts about Seb for a silly season video that I'm recording later today. I don't see him making it into Aston Martin next year, I just don't. With Sergio Perez in contract and Lance, well, Lance doesn't go anywhere, let's be honest. Another driver who is looking for something in Hungary is Alex Albon. Unfortunately, in the last two races, the podium never really fell for him the way he liked. Getting tangled with the Lewis, obviously, in the Austrian Grand Prix and just simply fell off the pace in the steering GP. Albon, I'm certain, is going to get podiums this year. I think it's a bit like buses. Once one comes, he'll have a bit of confidence, and then all will stop coming. My predictions then, I think, my predictions then, I think the podium will be sort of be similar to last week, with the Mercs being dominant throughout the weekend, and potentially starting on pole. As for third place, I think it'll be a close battle between maybe Red Bull, McLaren, and I'm thinking maybe Racing Point, actually. That's a racing point. It's more likely to see Sergio on the podium than Lance, I think. Um, but they're definitely looking strong this year, racing point. You can say it's copying, but if the break duck thing turns out legal, then fair play to them. Changing the game, I like it. Heading towards the back of the grid, I think George will get out of Q1 again. But this time, hold on and potentially push for points in the race. I know race pace isn't as strong as quality pace for Williams, but if anybody can do it, George definitely can. Williams and Haas, obviously the two teams, in the championship at the moment with no points. I think that's fairly expected, really. Obviously, Alfa Romeo only had the one point from that ridiculous, ridiculous race at the start of the season. So yeah, Williams aren't looking too bad at the moment. I think they're definitely on for points this season, that's for sure. I think this could be the turning point in Williams' history where they turn themselves around and get back to where they belong at the front of the grid. Right, guys, that is the end of the video. I hope you have enjoyed. Please do like this video and subscribe and leave your views down in the comments below. I'm happy to have a chat, have any disagreements or anything, have a bit of a discussion and I'll catch you all later. Have a good one guys.